and welcome to another edition of the Creative License Podcast. I'm Bill Herman. Thank you for being a part of this and thanks again to my sponsor, the Entertainment Experience Workshops and Seminars. You can find out more at entertainment-experience.com. Today, I'm going to talk about uh, a question that I've heard brought up uh, regularly by DJs who call me and talk to me, or I've even seen it online, where they're frustrated um, with uh, their s- the selling what they do, and they ask things like, well, I need to, I don't get what so, what do they want, right? I mean, what is it that our clients want? I mean, what's valuable to them? What, I mean, I want to charge more money, but I mean, what, what, what's valuable to them? I mean, I, I think I know what's valuable to me and why I should get a certain amount of money, uh, but what is it? And then I see answers, uh, the regular answers, which is, well, you know, uh, look at your lighting and how you use your lighting and uh, uh, look at how much that is and a certain amount of lights uh, is valuable because people uh, want decorative lights uh, or, or the speakers. You've got to have really uh, well-made, uh, uh, new, state-of-the-art speakers and oh, your, your DJ controller should be a certain thing and, and that, you know, if you don't have one of value, the customer is not going to value either. Uh, the suit that you're wearing, your haircut, um, all of that stuff seemingly is valuable, right? I mean, we see it as valuable because we spend the money on it. You've got to spend money on lights. It ain't cheap. You've got to get your new gear and your new tuxedo and your new suit, your great haircut, your $200 shoes. I mean, that's valuable. There's value in that. Intrinsic. You spent the money. You know what's valuable. But you're seeing it from your perspective. And in all these conversations that I see online or between other DJs, they look at it from their perspective. What is valuable to them. So they put that out there as this is the valuable thing to the customer. Well, believe it or not, the customers are being trained by you to think that this is a valuable thing, but they don't see it that way because they don't know anything about it. We're the DJ, that's why they're hiring a DJ. They don't know anything about speakers. So why would they see your speakers as valuable? That's not what's valuable. You want to stand out to the crowd? Start actually looking at what your clients are looking for what they want, because what they want is the valuable that you're trying to give them. They don't want, it's like the old saying, do you want a drill or do you want a hole? You didn't go to buy a drill, you went in to get a drill because you wanted a hole. So what does your client want? Your client wants a great party. Your client wants uh, a certain atmosphere. Uh, The client wants uh, you to create love in the room. All of this seems weird and how the heck am I going to do that? But the truth of it is that is valuable. So can you create and deliver that? Because if you can deliver something that like love, (laughs) if you can deliver something like happy, that doesn't matter now whether you bring speakers. It doesn't matter if you have microphone and all the tools that we think we need to do that. Trust me, if I could show up at an event and I could make them be amazingly happy and not bring a stick of gear, I, I swear to goodness, I would do it. Now, do I need those tools? Most of the time I do. But do I talk to my clients or my, my, the people looking to buy what I do about those things as to show my value? No, because they don't see that. They came at it looking for a thing. Sell them the whole, man. S- tell them you can give them what they want not look at all the value in this. An hour gets you this much money. A speaker gets you this much money. But happiness? Where's the price on that? You get to pick that price. What do you think of this? I'd like to know, okay? Go and check it out now. Uh, 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 Tell me what you think in the comments below. Send me a note, bill at billherman.com. Otherwise, I'll see you next Thursday. This is Bill Herman, and this is the Creative License Podcast.